up everybody? The beach is finally open. I got my waders on right now. I'm about to go do a species assessment for the second week of May uh, in the surf. I did bring uh, clams and frozen spot for bait. We're gonna throw out two chunking rigs and possibly throw some soft plastics or metals depending on uh, if we see any birds working. Now, I don't know if you can tell, I just got done patching my uh, waders. I'm hoping that they're actually waterproof, otherwise it's going to be a very long day, so stay tuned. Alright, so I've been waiting for this time for a while now, since this pandemic broke out. This is probably the latest I've ever got to go surf fishing, uh, since I could remember, honestly, because there's never been a shutdown where we couldn't go out on the beach. Now, they just lifted the restrictions. You just gotta make sure you do some research before you head out. Not every beach town has reopened. Um, a bunch of the beaches near me did, but only for exercise. And it says fishing no chairs, meaning you can't sit. So you have to stand the whole time, which I really don't care. But boy, look at this pristine view I got right now, man. Ain't a soul out here fishing. I got the whole beach to myself. Oh my lord, this is, oh, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Now, we're just going to try and find up a, a spot to set up on. Um, there is a storm supposed to be coming through, it's south of us right now, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not too worried. Wind's at my back today, like you could literally can't ask for any better conditions than this. It's flat calm out here incoming tide all right so first step i'm gonna put my uh, rod holders in that way we can you know easily just put the you know rods in after we make a cast i'm not going too far only for the fact that the tide is coming in and i'm gonna have to probably eventually move these backwards but for right now this seems like a good spot to set up all right so all right, so for today, we're keeping it simple. I got some frozen <clears throat> spot that I caught last summer, and I got some fresh, you know, shuck clams that we're gonna try. So stay tuned, let me bait up some rods. All right, so first rod, we're gonna throw out a, a whole clam. I got these nice, fresh clams. Now, big key with these, you wanna make sure you hook them through a handful of times. That way they can't just easily rip off you know the bait that looks like a good clam all right now we're gonna walk her out oh you know what let me uh make sure i leave my phone and wallet not in my pocket because who the heck knows you never want to you know get your phone and wallet soaked all right first official cast of surf season 2020 and we can't ask for a better weather day. Nothing is better than when you get the wind at your back. That nice west wind. Oh man, and it's calm, dude. There's days where I'm out here and I'm just jumping over waves, trying to, you know, get past the sandbar. So far, so good on the waders. I don't feel water rushing through, which tells me the patch job might have worked. Woo! Water is cold, though. Ah. See, I shouldn't have hesitated on that one. That, that was my bad. Got to go all or nothing, right? All right, I'm about up to about my waist. I'm going to try and chuck this sucker out there ah there we go that looked like a money cast all right now we're just gonna sit and wait all right so for rod number two i got some frozen spot that i caught last summer i'm just gonna cut them into chunks and just throw a, a chunk up on this hook just like so 
Boom. That looks like a juicy piece of spot right there. We're gonna get it out, see if anything's hungry. Man, not waiting for this one. Woo! All right, let's get this out there. Boom. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, my number one bait choice if I were chunking would be fresh bunker, but be, because of the weather, the boats haven't been able to get out. At least that's what I'm told from the bait store near me. Um, and they're kind of far and few many right now in the back bay. So, you know, I just went with the next best option, which was, you know, the frozen spot that were in my uh, freezer. So, very curious to see what's in the surf right now, because, you know, there really hasn't been many surf reports from my area because nobody's been allowed to fish out here. Now, north of me, I know they open up some beaches, but, um, you know, I've heard, you know, hit and miss stories. Some days guys are killing bass and uh, drum and some blowfish, and then some days I hear it's all sharks and skates. So we're going to find out if anything's lurking out here. All right, so we're going to give a few casts with the SP minnow while we wait on those chunking rods to possibly produce something. Just as I say that, just as I say that, we're getting a fish. Something just pulled at this. Fish on, baby, fish on. First fish of the... First fish of 2020 surf. Whatever it is just came to the surface. I don't know if you can see it out there. Oh, son. It's not very big, but it's definitely a fish. Ah. And it's trying to run into my other line. Man. Oh, Lord. I might have put those two lines a little too close to each other. Now this was on the spot right here. Don't know what it is, it's kind of fighting weird. Doesn't feel like a striper. It kind of feels like a shark. Oh, yep, it's a dogfish. Trying to get this guy out of this line. There we go. All right. First, first fish of 2020 surf fishing. It's a smooth dog fish. Uh, not a big one by any means. This guy is beat up. Look at his, look at his uh, dorsal fin. But we're gonna let this guy go. But we're not getting stunk today, baby. All right. So we're gonna let this bad boy go. Um, so. I knew it wasn't a striper by the way he was pulling. Usually the stripers have more of a head shake and fight. But we're just going to let this guy go. And off he goes. There he is right there. Beautiful little thing. Alright. A lot of those, uh, a lot of people consider them to be trash fish. They're, trust me, they're not my... They're not the number one fish I'm, I want to catch today. But um, coming into the surf trip I knew... I knew that there was going to be some form of dogfish, whether it be spiny or smooth. So right now that's the first fish of the day. I'm going to try and get this untangled and then get back out there. Now while I'm going to get bait, best thing I ever invested in was one of these beach carts because I don't know about you, I don't like lugging a ton of stuff uh, down the beach. I'd rather have, you know, something easy to maneuver. And I'll tell you what, I found this beach cart on Let Go. Somebody came down here for the summer a couple years back, bought it, didn't find a need for it. They usually retail like, 
150 to you know upwards of five depending on if you get a motorized one i got that for 25 bucks so before you go out and buy something brand new always look online craigslist you know there's a ton of different websites that have great steals if you just look for them all right let's get this Boom, that's a good piece of bait right there, baby. All right, so we're gonna get that spot back out there. I'm not gonna walk as far because a lot of these fish are hanging right behind the, the breakers and you don't want to overcast. If you overcast, you, you might miss the fish completely. Now, oddly enough, we, we've been here maybe 10 minutes, haven't had a single touch with the clam yet. Now. Uh, I'm not sure what that's up, what's up with that, but, you know, we'll sit and wait, see how it does. I'm not going to give up on it. Seems like we're getting something on this spot rod. Oh, let's go fish on, baby. Oh, look at that. Whatever it was just came straight to the surface. It doesn't feel very big. Oh no. Oh look, he's riding the wave. That looks like a skate from this far away. I really didn't get a great look, but oh man. The trash fish continue. That looks like a clear nose skate from where I am. Let me find the rod holder. Ugh. Oh yeah. Look at that. Woo! Oh, don't wrap around there. Yeah, that's a clear no skate, all right. Now, you got to be extremely careful handling these things. They do have spikes. Now, what I'm going to do is pinch it in the one spot I know I could grab it, which is this little filament here. And we're going to just try and get the hook out without getting... Might need to go get my pliers, honestly. All right, we were able to get the hook out without damaging him. Uh, I'm gonna put my hand under here and give you a quick shot. Uh, They're one ugly fish, man. And look at, I don't know if you can see all those little horns on its tail. They are nothing to joke about, man. When you get stuck with one of these, it does not feel very good. But we're gonna let him go. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they're one of the least favorite fish. If you step on them, they hurt like hell. But uh, good thing about them is they actually do have uh, meat on the wings. In some countries, it's actually a delicacy. But I'm not that hungry today, to be honest with you. Now, if you notice, I'm not wading out as far, only because um, tide is coming in, and I can pretty much get the bait where I need it to be from, you know, knees length. Again, something tapping the spot rod. Just gotta hold on to it. Feel, feel for any hits. Fish on, baby! Fish on! Let's freaking go! Damn, this is definitely bigger. Whoa, yeah, this is definitely bigger. Biggest thing I've had so far today. Oh, it's got, it's peeling line. Oh man, this actually feels nice. I don't know what it is. Now, when I say nice, I mean bigger. I don't know, it could be a bigger shark. It could be a blue, it could be a striper. It's definitely not a skate the way it's running. Yeah, much bigger. And this one's actually making horizontal runs up the beach. Now, I don't want to horse him. Uh, looks like a bigger shark. I don't know. I kind of looked like a shark tail. Can't really see past that wave. Yeah, it's a bigger shark.
Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a much bigger one than the first one. Yeah, try and grab a hold of this guy. Now you just gotta be careful because I am using Power Pro, and if this guy makes a run while I'm holding the line, it could be uh, a nice little cut on my arm. There we go, baby. There we freaking go. Yeah, this one's not bad. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> All right. There we go. Got him. Put his tail between my legs. Buddy, I'm trying to help you, man. I'm trying to get that hook out. But yeah, that's a bigger dogfish. Now, that ain't no record breaker, but that's a nice, you know, good fighting size. We're going to let him go. And look at that. He's gone. Off to probably hit my bait again. Now, here's the beauty of what I'm doing. Everything has a purpose. So, in the, you know, dog days of summer when it gets hot, uh, bait fish called spot come in and you know I go out catch as many as I possibly can keep some in my live well for stripers and then freeze the rest that you know end up dying these these fish literally cost me nothing I caught them on you know artificial worms last summer in fact if you want to check out a pretty cool video uh, check this link that I'm putting right up here that was me going to catch them uh, last summer now, like I said earlier, bunker would be my number one choice if I was throwing, you know, something chunked out there. But I have used up all the bunker that's in my freezer recently. So the next best thing I had was the spot. I've always had luck with spot. Um, but personally, I think bunker's the way to go just because the oil. They are one oily fish and everything loves bunker. It's like the human version of pizza. I've never met somebody that doesn't like pizza. There we go. There we freaking go, baby. Got him. Got him. Ah. Uh, what do we got on the other line right now? I haven't seen it yet. It's not giving much of a fight, so it's gonna lead me to guess that it's some type of trash fish. Yeah, it looks like a shark. Oh no, it's a skate. Oh man, I cannot get away from these things. That's a thick skate right there. That's a thick skate, man. Now look at him, he hooks out of his mouth. He don't want to give up that spot. I don't blame him, man. They are some ugly looking things, man. Off he goes. I literally just ran, whoa, something just grabbed my rod out of the holder. Literally my holder ripped it out, out of the ground. I better go grab before that. Oh, I'm over here watching birds pick off bunker. Oh, I might've lost them. I don't know, that are swimming towards us. Whoo, yeah, he was swimming towards us. Man, that, whatever this is, Almost ripped the rod right out of my holder. 
another shark. Ah, another dog. Man, I almost lost two rods today. Woo! And that wasn't even a big shark, too. Oh, man. These things are like sandpaper. Now, some of you looking at home might not have ever seen one of these. They don't have teeth. <clears throat> they just have grinders inside. Let's see if I can give you a shot of that. So, I mean, you can lift these guys. I ain't gonna lift them. Just gotta let them go. Off he goes. Going the wrong way, buddy. It's like Mario Kart, going the wrong way. This way, this way, come on. Yeah, there you go. Guy has like a death wish. All right, we're gonna, we got probably time for one more cast. So hopefully we can get something other than a skate or a dog, dog fish, but be happy to end the day with the fish. All right, she's out there. Oh, see that? Fish on, baby. Oh, it's another skate. That guy came right to the surface. Another skate. That's a little ski. Oh man, that guy swallowed it. I'm gonna go grab the pliers. I'll be right back. All right, we were able to get the uh, hook out of its mouth, but just another clear nose skate. I mean, they are really weird looking uh, animals. I mean, I don't know if you can see that's it's where it breathes from. That's where this, that seagull thinks he's getting a free meal. I don't know why I'd want to eat a skate, but uh, like I was saying earlier, you can fillet these guys. The meats are like right here and here. And if I flip them over, here and here. But I'm not trying to deal with some skates today. I, I have had them before. They do taste, you know, pretty good. Uh, but I mean, you can make anything seafood taste good, you know, by frying it. But hey, at least we ended the day with something. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, as always, drop a comment down below let me know what you think uh, if you're not a subscriber click the subscribe button down below uh, i'm planning on bringing a ton of more content with the warmer weather uh, stay safe and i'll see you guys soon